this is a short video showing some of the features of the in progress operating system I've, I'm writing for the Maxi 09 board I've called it Maxi 09 OS not very imaginative but there you go um, so it's a um, it uses a simple preemptive multitasking scheduler so it's preemptive because tasks can um, schedule other tasks uh, interrupt, interrupt handlers can schedule other tasks um, it's simple because the um, the, the scheduler itself um, decides which of the ready tasks will, will run based on a simple round robin. Um, because I quite like the OS, I was a big user in the, in the mid, early and mid 90s, it borrows some features from Mega OS, it uses the a very similar signalling mechanism, um, except it uses only 8 bits of signalling. Um, it's an 8-bit OS after all, and it also uses um, linked lists in a similar way. So it has the peculiar buried node inside the list header, just for performance reasons. Um, so it has a very simple driver mechanism. Um, I've written three or four, four I think, uh, drivers so far. I've got a driver for the uh, quad UART. Um, I have a driver for the console, i.e. screen and keyboard. Um, it's not very interesting except that I've borrowed, or uh, copied, whatever the word is, um, Linux's virtual console idea. So I have six uh, consoles that you can switch through using the function keys. Uh, there's a driver um, for a, to implement a simple timer mechanism, so I can have periodic or one-shot timers that generates a signal to a task that open, that open the timer. Uh, and there's also a very simple driver for my little LED, which I use in the idle task to show the system busyness level. Um, there's no mass storage, there's no drivers for the joystick ports, parallel port, sound port, and uh, the console support you'll see is very simple. It's just, uh, just text mode, um, very basic um, control codes in the yeah, for 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 the simple ASCII codes like carriage return and line feed. So I'll power on the board now. So this is the first task. You, you'll notice right away that my television here, uh, very very nasty um, TFT, is uh, is complaining about the. Uh, the signal generated by the VDC. I don't know why it does this. The Panasonic I have downstairs doesn't. Um, it, but never mind. Who cares? It, it, it works good enough. Um, so you can see this is the first task. Um, this 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 test. This was written to test the timer. The timer device. So the task opens the console as well as the a timer, and um, just sets up a periodic. I think it's about once a second. Um, second timer and reads from both the timer and the console um, so if I press a key there you go that was Q 71 is going to be the ASCII for lowercase Q okay. other keys there um, shift handling What's that? that was shift and Z um, control codes as well so if I press control A that should um, generator zero one. There you go. Control C. Yeah, commonly used uh, combination zero three. Um, if I press the space bar, that uh, resets the timer to to generate a one one shot event. About five seconds later. There you go. Now the repeating timer is stopped. Um, on the second terminal, I have a simple. A task that I wrote to test the UART and so this reads a string and echoes the string out again there you go, there's my name um, there you go um, so if I switch to another terminal this should be my serial terminal task and of course it decides at this point in time 
not to work. So this machine is attached, the 6809 board is attached to my Linux dev machine. And the Linux dev machine is presenting a, um, a Getty login on uh, one of the serial ports. Just reset it, maybe that will kick it into life. Let's have another look. There we go. So, as you can see, I've got some, got some problems with, uh, with this task. Not quite sure what's going on, have it fully debugged. Um, so I should be able to log in to my Linux machine. There we go. So I'm logged in. Um, in case you're wondering, the password I typed was password. Obviously a temporary password. As you can probably see the keys that I'm typing. Um, even though this is a box on my LAN. Um, so I can obviously list out directories. Um, so this is interpreting spaces and tabs to, uh, to, to, to position the text. If you look at the terminal mode, I think it's a term, environment variable. There you go, um, it's set to dumb, so I'm not, um, I'm not even attempting to emulate the, um, the VT command set, the VT102 or, or whatever a, a popular one is. Um, just enough that basic things work. So for instance, you notice I had a problem. Have a problem there. I'm not rendering the cursor because the the the, the cursor needs to be um, needs to be positioned manually. It's, it's, there's no there's no hardware support for a cursor. If you see what I mean. Um, if I press Control C, you can see that's correctly interpreted. Um, but I've currently got a few problems. Whoops! Not only with my typing. But with um, interpreting, no, it's not interpreting. With, with essentially the scrolling mode, because um, the VDC has no hardware support for for scrolling in text mode, so the 6809 has to read in the video memory and, and write it out again. Um, but offset offset a line, and even at 9600 boards, um, this, this can take too long. Even with the FIFO as well inside the UART, so if lines are short, then there's a there's a chance that the um, that the, the the characters won't be processed correctly, uh, and characters will be dropped. Um, so I've, I've I've tried to work around that problem by scrolling up in half page half screen size chunks. You know, that that helps quite considerably and gives the gives the system time enough to catch up. Um, when it's doing this slow scrolling operation, but um, it's still not quite good enough. As I, I'll show you, if I run yes, you might have, you might have been able to see there occasionally it um, it, will, it will miss a character. Don't know if the camera caught that. Um, so that's that's about it really. Um, I've also got, but uh, I'm not going to bother to show you the uh, this task running on the second UART port and that, that of course it's all multitasking so that's actually running at the same time as uh, as all the other tasks so that's that's kind of kind of proves that it's almost a multi-user <laughs> you know, in, in a very simple sense um, operating system and um, the eventual plan is to implement some kind of um, some kind of disk routines that uh, will present a very simple shell environment for um, running external commands off of the compact flash, or um, and I could, have, I suppose, if I if I had the time and the inclination, write a um, write a, a development environment because there's no editor and and an assembler to to do development actually inside of um, of the Maxio 9 itself. I don't think I'll get that far, but um, it's all it's all fun. The next thing I want to do is try to improve the interrupt routing because the um, the interrupt controlling that I've controller that I've implemented inside the VHDL inside one of the FPGAs on the Maxio 9 it, it's it's not bad, but there are there are things I could do to to speed up the um, the operation and the routing of the interrupts because this this board has eight or ten interrupt sources and the 609 spends too long. Each time an interrupt is generated, finding out which device actually generated the interrupt. Yeah, so I should be able to write some 
some more logic in the VHDL to make the interrupt handling a bit more, um, a bit far, a bit smarter, uh, and, and give the 6809 less to do, 6809 rather, less to do when it comes to processing the interrupt. Um, other than that, yeah, start on the uh, disk routines. Uh, that, that, that could be a challenge. Um, there are loads of things I can be working on. Um, the, the keyboard handling is, is, is very basic at the moment. I don't even have key repeat, so you can keep your finger on the key as long as you like, and um, you still won't get another another key. Um, a key press sent through to the operating system. That will involve some um, AVR code to uh, to handle those in, inside the um, 80 mega keyboard controller. Uh, caps lock. This is a Amiga 600 keyboard, and the uh, Amigas were kind of cool in that they had a little LED inside the caps lock uh, key for, for showing where the cap lock, caps lock was turned on. I'm not doing anything with that either. Um, and yeah, more drivers for the, for the uh, joystick ports would be cool. Yeah, that, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.